Hello parents, welcome to the Online Parent Info Night. I'm sorry I couldn't meet with you tonight. Uh, hopefully that we'll be able to meet sometime later, but I just wanted to take a quick uh, quick time to introduce myself and introduce the class. Hello, my name is Tyson Poppleton and I'm going to be your student's teacher. Uh, they might call me T-Pop, that might be a name you might hear around the house. Uh, but whether you have a student in physical science, chemistry, or chemistry concepts, I hope this little video tutorial will help just kind of introduce you to what's going on. Whether you just want to stay informed or maybe play an active role in their learning, uh, I sure hope that I can help you out in the best way I can. Let me introduce you to just a couple things that we do in this class that is extremely important. Uh, that way you know how to help them and you know what to expect. The first thing I want to introduce to you is this, this interactive lab notebook. All the students in my class are required to have a lab notebook specifically for science class. In this notebook they do things, uh, they put all their assignments, they do their labs, everything goes in this notebook that kind of shows kind of a progress or a scrapbook of their learning. Uh, at the end hopefully they'll be able to show you or me how how, you know, how their learning has progressed and they'll have some resource that they can refer to the tests and quizzes. So this is the number one important thing in the class that hopefully you'll be able to see every once in a while. I hope they introduce it to you and I hope they're really excited to, to add to it and to make it creative and interactive. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is technology. Now I know that for a lot of parents technology is a little bit of a, of a hindrance and a little bit of something to be afraid of but I hope you're not afraid of it because we use technology a lot in this class and it's proven to be very effective in helping the students. There are two things you should know about. Uh, number one is the Infinite Campus app or Parent Portal slash Student Portal. You can find that by going to isd12.org. Parent Portal Student Portal is a way for students and you to access their grades. Uh, at their, um, If you wanted to contact the IT department to figure out how to do so you can do that or the school we would love to help you out but that's where all the grades are posted the other thing I would like to introduce you to in a little bit more in depth is something called Schoology now Schoology is a place to put where I can put all the information all of the content the labs the activities uh, online to have students access them. One of my main focuses this year is to really focus on student advocacy, self-advocacy, because I really want students to be able to take control of their learning, to know what's going on, and to know where to find resources if they're truly struggling. So let me take a moment to introduce you to Schoology right now. Okay, so this is Schoology.com, and actually one of the fastest ways to get where you need to go is to go to Centennial.Schoology.com. You can actually log in yourself as a parent You have your own account and you can access each of your students if you have more than one Schoology account to kind of see what's going on in each of their classes. Now in this class, this is just a general class layout for my science classes. Let me just show you a couple of useful materials that you can see here on centennial.schoology.com. First of all, my course is set up. I always start off with this folder called Course Resources. So Schoology in the materials section has a bunch of folders and content that, that teachers can post that students can have access to all year. There is a class calendar and there is this materials section. So let me just show you really quickly here the course resources section. This is resources that is useful throughout the entire course of the semester. Here I post things such as the syllabus. I might post a class calendar. I also post an e-textbook and some answers to select and practice problems. The students have access to these things all year and can you know, access them through their smart devices or on a computer in both at home or in my classroom. Going back, the next thing you'll see is a bunch of unit folders. Throughout this course, we'll go through a bunch of overall broad topics called units. And these broad topics uh, are divided up into lessons. So let me just jump into a unit folder. So like I said, the unit is divided up into a bunch of different lessons, uh, a little bit smaller subtopics. Now to start a unit, there's a table of contents. This deals with their lab notebook. It tells them what needs to go in their lab notebook. In the, the next content is the learning targets. I want to emphasize the fact that the learning targets are probably one of the most important pieces uh, to the class. These are the things that the students really need to know by the end of the unit and also by the end of the semester. If they know these learning targets, they'll do well. So if a student is ever struggling, I usually ask them to pull out their learning targets and not just tell me, you know, I'm struggling with chemistry, but what exactly, which target are they struggling with? And I can show you some resources as well of how to figure that out. Now here are the different lessons. There are three lessons within this unit. Uh, and you can open up that lesson. Each lesson is categorized by the learning target. So they, they match, they coincide. So in this first lesson, I want to show you that here are some of the practices that we might do. There might be some lab, lab or lab assignments that we do. And all of these things are the things that go inside the notebook. 
Students will be creating their own content and working on things inside the notebook. The final thing I want to show you is this resources folder. So if a student is struggling with one of the learning targets, I recommend that they go and look at the, the specific learning targets resources. So see this number code here, it's 1.1. That just represents that the learning target comes from unit one, lesson one. And this resources folder will have a lot of content in there to help them out. Now, this is content both that we use in the class as well as extra and above and beyond content if they need extra help. So, for example, here's the presentation that I did. You know, I might stand up and do a lecture sometimes. Sometimes I might post a video. And in fact, sometimes I might make them watch videos as an assignment, kind of like you're watching this video right now. I might show a simulation or allow them to play around with simulation. I'll post textbook pages. I don't require a textbook in my class. We use it quite infrequently, but I know that some students and parents really like to have a textbook to pull in information from. So this will be very useful for you. Here's the textbook. It might say World of Chemistry if you're in my chemistry class, or it might say a Holt Physical Science if you're in my physical science class. And then also some e-textbook pages, which I update infrequently, but the e-textbook is quite different than the regular textbook. So the textbook is the one we're using in school. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you, parents, for taking a short time out of your lives to watch this video. I hope it was very informative. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me at my contact email, which you can find at the district website, isd12.org. I don't want to give it here online because this is a public video, but you're welcome to look there for that information. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for allowing me to teach your students in my class. You have a great day.